In this lecture, we will take some of the grammars and we will try to identify the type of the grammar. For example, we have a line, we have a grammar S produces AS oblique A. So uh, this grammar has the production of kind S produces AS. It means we have only one non-terminal on the right hand side and the, right, the non-terminal symbol is appearing towards the right. Only one non-terminal symbol and that is also appearing on the right. On the left hand side we have only one symbol. So if we have only one symbol on the left hand side, there are two options only. Either it is type 2 that is context free or type 3. Fine. So obviously it, it, it will be type 2. It has been declared. But let's find out if it is type 3. On the right hand side we have only one non-terminal symbol and that is appearing on the right so this is right linear so obviously it is type 3 if it is type 3 obviously it is type 2 if it is type 2 obviously it is type 1 and if it is type 1 obviously it is type 0 as well okay now let's take this one this grammar there are three productions one this one another one this another one this on the left hand side we have only one symbol that means obviously it has to be type 2. Now let us find out if it is type 3 or not. On the right hand side of this production we have two non-terminals. So if you have two non-terminals obviously it is not type 3. So this grammar is type 2. If it is type 2 obviously it is type 1 and if it is type 1 obviously it is type 0. Okay. Now this one. This grammar S produces ASP. First production S produces BSP. Second production S produces A and S produces B. This grammar has the production this one, this and this. So there are four productions. On the left hand side there is only one non-terminal symbol. So if this is if uh, there are only one non-terminal symbol, that means it is either type 2 or type 3 okay now uh, if it is type if, if it has to be type 3 it means the productions have to be of type left linear or right linear that is not true for these two productions because the symbol the non-terminal symbol is appearing somewhere in, in the between so that is middle linear so middle linear grammar cannot be regular or type 3 so it is type 2 and if it is type 2, obviously it is type 1. If it is type 1, it is obviously type 0. Fine. Let's take this question. S produces small a s, small b s and epsilon. Now for this grammar, if we take uh, uh, the left hand side, it has only one symbol. So it is either type 2 or type 3. So type 2 is declared. Let's find out if it is type 3. There is only one non-terminal on the right hand side. Okay, so both have the non-terminal symbol on the right hand side only. That's why this is type 3 as well. It means this is right linear. Okay, now let's take another question. If this is the if these are the production of type AS produces AS and then SP and epsilon. So what is this saying that on the left hand side we have one symbol so obviously it is type 2 or type 3. So it is declared that it is it has to be type 2 but we are checking it for type 3. Now this for this production as produces AS the non-terminal is appearing on the right hand side and for the production S produces SP the non-terminal symbol is non-terminal symbol is appearing on the left hand side. So this one is right linear and for this one it is left linear. So if a grammar is left linear and right linear both, it cannot be type 3. It has either to be left linear or it has to be right linear. If it is a combination of the left linear and the right linear, the grammar cannot be type 3. So this given example is not type 3. It is type 2. Obviously it will be type 1 and since it is type 1, Obviously, it is type 0. Okay, so this way we can identify the grammars.
Let's take another example. Let's say we have a grammar of type A A produces B B and C. So this grammar production is saying that on the left hand side we have more than one symbol. So if this this is the, these are uh, more than one symbol, it cannot be type two or type three. So we have denied type two and type three. But there is a possibility of type one and type zero. Okay. So this will be type one if the number of symbols on the left hand side will be less than or equal to the number of symbol on the right hand side. Obviously it is. The number of symbol on the left hand side are two. And number of symbols on the on the right hand side are three. So obviously, the length of alpha is less than or equal to length of beta. That's why this is type one. It means context context sensitive. And if it is type one, it it is type zero as well, because type zero is uh, sorry type one is actually the subset of type zero. Let's take another example. A A B produces small b capital B. So in this grammar, we have more than one symbol on the left hand side. It means type three and type two have been denied. This grammar cannot be type three and type two because for type three and type two, we should have only one symbol on the left hand side. And then this one, number of symbols on on the left hand side. Is greater than the number of symbol on the right hand side, so this cannot be type one because the type one says that the number of symbol on the left hand side should be less than or equal to number of symbol on the right hand side. So this obviously is type. It is not type one, so it is an unrestricted grammar, so it will be type zero only. Thank you.